Good day, we are the Group 1A and today we're gonna be presenting a research paper entitled Learning Styles of Nursing Students with Distance Learning. So first things first, we want to answer the basic question. Why did we conduct this study? Well, since there is a big shift from a traditional to online learning, we the researchers want to promote the learning of nursing students in a virtual learning environment. But first, we have to be informed of how best they learn. Hawksworth 2015 stated that knowing the type of learner you are is a vital reach to your fullest potential. So if I ask, how would you like to study? Through this research, this would actually be helpful for the nursing students to be aware of their learning style and would be easier for them not to study harder but to study smarter. Moreover, there have been many researchers that were investigated, further studied, and conducted, and one of those include the study of Na, Umali, Asuko, and Orem in 2019, which it was found the learning styles and academic performance of the student has a significant relationship. The results of the study bear resemblance to the study of Magulu Jr. in 2019, as well as the study of Fatima and Camellia in 2018, which also indicated that there is positive relationship between the learning styles of the students and their academic performance. Ergo, we conducted this research study. For the statement of the problem, what objective do we want to achieve? We want to gather information from individuals, specifically from nursing students of the University of St. LaSalle Bacolod City, to determine their learning styles, and we will be able to achieve that by answering the following question. First, what is the profile of the nursing student in terms of the given variables which include sex, section, internet connectivity, type of guided use, and general weighted average last second semester of the previous academic year? Second, what are the preferred learning styles of the nursing students? And third, is there a significant association between the learning styles with the distance learning and the given variable? For the hypothesis statement, there is a significant association between the learning styles with distance learning according to sex, section, internet connectivity, type of gadget used, and the general weighted average last second semester of the previous academic year. Next is the methodology. The research design used was descriptive design. For the instrument, the researcher used a research maids questionnaire as well as an adaptive research questionnaire. The researcher made instrument used was to gather the demographic data of the participants, while the adaptive research questionnaire used, which was taken on forklearn.com website, was to determine the learning styles of the participants. The researcher gathered the demographic data and the participants' learning styles in a completely separate survey. The questionnaire was validated by Leti, Zvinicki, and Shi 2010 through confirmatory factor analysis obtaining the following reliability scores. Next are the participants of the study. The researcher used a probability sampling method, specifically the stratified random sample technique. The sample size was taken out of a total population of 30 nursing students from section A to D, which is 177 and the computed sample size using Slovin's formula is 123 nursing students. Next is the ethical consideration. First is beneficence. The purpose of the research is presented and the researchers explain the procedure to the participants. They are also informed that they are free to withdraw anytime they want without giving any reason and having penalty and loss of benefit to which he or she is entitled. The second is respect for dignity. A signed consent form was obtained from the participant. Confidentiality and anonymity were also maintained. In doing so, manifest for respect for dignity and autonomy. Lastly is justice. There was fire and unbiased selection in the choice of sample. Appropriate care was provided to the participant regardless of their economic status or gender. All participants have access to the research results. For the results and discussion of the profile of the participants, the first is sex. Table 1 shows that most of the participants were female, which comprises about 75.6%. It can be implied that the female continue to outnumber males when it comes to choosing nursing as a profession. Next is internet connectivity. Most of the participants belong to category 2B with 65%. It can be implied that the majority of the participants have limited connectivity and mobile devices with a laptop or with a personal computer. In terms of type of gadget use, most of the participants use laptop, which comprises about 74%. It can be implied that the majority of the participants use laptop to engage in asynchronous and synchronous meetings. Lastly, in general weighted average, 
most of the participants had a GWA of 2.00 to 1.60 which comprises about 67.5%. It can be implied that the majority of the students have an average range of 90 to 94 which are considered very good. For most preferred learning styles, the table shows that the majority of the participants surveyed by the study have multimodal preferences, specifically quadmodal which is combination of four learning styles. Next. Results reveal that there is no significant association between learning styles and given variables. A computed G-squared test in all areas is greater than 0.05. Therefore, the null hypothesis is accepted. For the conclusion, it should be worth bearing in mind that there's long been a need to use work for remote or distant learning because it allows for more personalization of learning for each particular student than is possible in a classroom environment. However, while there is presently no credible or conclusive evidence to support the advantages of matching and learning materials, the teacher to the student's learning needs. It is not recommended that teachers only rely on complementing learning materials to each student's individual learning preferences. To make sure that the students are learning, it is not enough for them to learn by just having access to instructional resources in their chosen mode of learning preferences. There are a variety of other factors that may not lead to successful outcome of learning. If they don't use books, don't have time to read, or aren't inspired to learn the material, for example, having access to information in their chosen modality won't help them learn. For your recommendation, the researchers propose the content be delivered using a variety of materials that covers each of VARC's four modalities. Having a range of instructional resources to choose from, at least some of which use the students' preferred learning styles, brings interest to the subjects and therefore can aid encouragement.